Collective, back at it. You already know. Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Uh. And another one. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Like a mother. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Like a mother. Smack at it. Bye up. Bye up. Bye. All that you can tell by that thumbnail right there. The new era. Ain't nothing scarier than see some bottles from this new area with the motherfucking pit bull terrier, right? Trip out now. Um, <clears throat> what has happened? Is it my fault? Is it your fault? Is it our fault? I think it's everybody's fault, right? Or should we blame our, each other for what's happening nowadays? You know, I'm not talking about the real ones who really are out there in the streets doing whatever they choose to do, um, wreaking havoc and handling and doing it their way in a manual style in a direct fashion. I'm talking about these keyboard warriors. This new era, this new, these new guys, Sasuke, stop pale. Guard! Tell these fuckers to go outside and play. Um, people that, that are gangbanging through the internet, social media, killing each other over views, likes, things of that nature. This is the new era of gangbanging, okay? Now, there still are some individuals that keep it old school. They were laced right. Um, they go out there, they handle their business. Um, a little bit more of a different stilo than I'm used to. But at the same time, I'm not knocking them for doing what they do. This is not a youngster thing. This is a new era thing. And when I say new era, I mean, there's some old motherfuckers in the new era. You know, they're trying to just trip out. I'm 154 years old, but at the same time, you know what I mean? I can get my keyboard on too. They're getting their keyboard warrior on. Times have changed. Um, the times of dress have changed. The way people carry themselves. The way they respect their older homeboys, their elders, um, and just uh, uh, civilians in general. You know, when you see these type of individuals... Um, they think this shit don't stink. You can't, man, there ain't nothing you could say. You know, I was talking to the homeboy the other day and he brought this topic to me. And he said, you know what? I want you to speak on what's going on now. Because see, we get a lot of blame. Being from that 90s era, because a lot of us were incarcerated. Uh, we was out there really doing them thang thang. You know what I mean? Hey, guard! What? We was out there, huh? Well, I was out there. I don't know what you were. You were locking fools up. But we were doing our thing. And what was happening was, um, it seemed like, we weren't properly lacing up the youngsters from our warriors, hoods, territories, whatever the case may be. Um, we weren't giving them the game that was given to us from the homeboys of the 70s and 80s, right? And in doing so, a lot of the warriors got watered down. Uh, a lot of the warriors, you know what I mean, got played out. Um, and a lot of them are extinct. They're like dinosaurs, that's it. They're no longer, they're the Stegosaurus Rex. They're just not there anymore, right? And it's because uh, we felt um, we were... Just doing too much. We were all locked up. A lot of homeboys got stuck on that pipe. And 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 that's just what that was, right? But it's not. Mm -mm, you know? Because when you try to lace the youngsters up, when you try to lace cats up, they just don't listen. And they don't listen because it's the social media era. Or era. Okay? It's done took over. It's not all about being in them guys anymore, uh, spray painting and being in them guys representing your barrio. And, you know, maybe some places it's still a little old school. A lot of barrios have instilled that and indoctrinated that into their people. But for the most part, a lot of places, man, um, they just ain't got time for that shit, man. You know, people of my era, it's time to, we woke up, man. It's time to go to work and take care of our fucking 100 kids from six different baby mamas and pay all that child support. And that's just what we're on. You know what I mean? Should we, we could gangbang if we wanted to. You know, we ain't got the time. I, and today I ain't got time because... Hey, yo, why ain't you got time? You're supposed to lace this up. Well, look at what this is. I got seven kids by 18 different baby mamas. I don't, you know what I mean? I, right now, I'm still trying to figure out DNA, which ones to, which degree are mine and to the highest degree of thing. You know, I got a lot going on right now. What this is. Hey, while you're over there fucking kicking back, getting all the views and shit on Moco Space and eating, you know, I mean, that can of Juanitas Menudo. The struggle is real. So we just, we tried. You know, a lot of people tried. I remember I used to try all the time, man, to let Bothers know, like, hey, bro, this is what it is. You know, not necessarily to detour him from gangbanging. You know, you don't want no one to do bad in life. That's not what you want. But at the same time, what I was trying to do uh, was give him the proper game. Like, hey, bro, instead of making this turn, make this turn. Because guess what? This is what's going to happen. Now, since a young buck, as a young kid, man, I made a lot of faulty choices. I made a lot of wrong moves. You know, I made a lot. I, and it was all because I was selfish. Selfish intentions. 
You know, I wanted to be that one. I wanted to show off to everyone. I couldn't know what tell me nada. Nada, right? But guess what? In the end, um, I paid for every single thing I ever done. I did a whole lot of time, sat a, my ass a whole lot of time in that oil. Like, man, I'm so fucking tired of this shit, man. I fucking appreciate this shit, man. But at the same time, you know, I was all stuck, stuck right there. I was stuck like Chuck, wasn't going nowhere. There was no way uh, they were going to turn the key and just magically let me out. I had to bring them every little piece of time that I owed them and, and, and more. That's just how it was. Um, so anyways, with this new era, what's going on nowadays, um, there's so many different things. And I've spoken on it a little bit, you know, and I had a lot of people get at me like, hey, man, why are you hating on the youngsters? I'm not hating on the youngsters whatsoever. It has nothing to do with that. Um, I'm talking about our people, man, not, not being able to, to lace the youngsters up right so that they knew exactly. You know, when you get involved in a vault or you get involved in a gang or anything like that, there's rules and regulations to this shit. You don't just get jumped in or get put on homes and think, oh, hey, look, I'm a gang banger now. Serious, that's gay. You owe me respect. Put some respect on my name. Gar! Motherfucker, I said put some respect on my name, right? It's not like that. Okay, it's not like that. Um, you have to earn everything that you got coming. You know, or you can get taxed. Thumbs are smashed on you because you earned that. You had that coming, right? Or you can get DP'd because you had that coming. Everything that happens to you is for an action that you've taken. You can't blame your older homeboys. Well, you walk them. So if you were not the killing people, homes, then you could have laced me up properly. You know what I mean? What do you What do you want him to do? You know what I mean? If he wasn't out there establishing and doing what he did and set the foundation down for your audio, then there would be no audio that you claim and you love so much. But let's get to what's happening now. Okay, keyboards, social media. Everybody wants to be <laughs> little Wayne. Everybody wants to be a, 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 a young thug until he wears dresses and catches Rico cases. Then all of a sudden, no, that ain't cool, right? Then they want to tell on that cat. Uh, everybody wants to dig right to the dig side to the wubba wubba when they see the Lamborghinis and the money. But then when he wears the pink fucking hair and tells on people, oh no, man, I don't want to do that. That ain't cool. You know what I mean? But will it get my light game up? Will it get my light game up? I remember some youngster told me that the other day, about a couple weeks ago. He said, man, I said, man, what you out here doing, bro? You out here fucking doing something for your hood or you really out here getting it like that? You know, I just want to know. Inquiring minds want to know. I ain't really tripping like that. I just want to, you know, what is it now? This is exactly what he told me. Shit, homie, I'm out. Shit, I'm real, bro. I'm just out here trying to get my light game up. I said, well, how does that work? To what degree of light game are we talking about here? You know what I mean? Like the bitches like me and I like them or, you know what I mean? Like, oh, I like that 45, but I'm not supposed to have one. Um, or, you know what I mean? Shit, I like the way her now guys move that way. He was like, nah, 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 I'm trying to get, you know what I mean? Like and subscribe and shit. I said, subscribe to what? I, I, to what? To, to whatever platform I'm on. You know what I mean? Because I'm trying to shit. I got, right now I'm at like 2,000 homeboys on Instagram. 2,000 homeboys, do you know there's nothing? These are your homeboys? They laced you up? They gave you the game? Nah, but you know what I'm saying? You know, you got to decipher who's the real and who. Nah, 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 I ain't trying to do all that. That's too much work. That's too much hard work. Um, people are trusting nowadays when they shouldn't be. You know, you meet somebody on social media, you automatically think that's your homeboy, that's your camarada, that's your friend. He's got your back. This is up some big-ass fat bottle eating fucking popcorn laughing at you. <laughs> popcorn all spilling, man. Little stains all over his shirt. He's laughing at you. You think he's some down-ass homeboy, you know what I mean? Because he sent you a few pictures he took off the internet. And at the same time, he's some big old nasty bottle in a basement playing you out of pocket. That's how it is nowadays, man. You don't know who's who or what's what. You know, Heine's getting on there talking about, damn, what's up? And then you just okay. She is a man. <laughs> you know what I mean? She's buying everything. You know what I mean? To what pronoun? I don't I don't understand. You got played out of pocket, man. If you don't go that route, that route went you. And and that's just what it is. So with the social media era uh gangs now, you got people that are got whole gangs, whole crews, right? On YouTube, on fucking uh uh, uh social media platforms, playing people. This is exactly what they got going on. To me, it's a trick. You know, to me, I, I, I wasn't raised that way. We didn't have that. We went outside and played football till the lights went out. They're really out there, like literally playing people for fun, for jokes, for likes, for reviews, for subscriptions, for whatever the case may be. And it's much different than what I'm used to. See, we were hands-on. Bullies with foolies carrying toolies. That's just how it was. You know, times have changed. Things have changed. People change. They evolve. But in this case, when it comes to the gangs, they have not evolved. You know, the bottles are smart because they're not to use computers. Yeah, but bottles don't go outside and breathe, huh? so their skin is changing, right? They're not evolving um, 
They're basically setting themselves back. You know, people always talk about, hey, gun, why, why you always glorify gangs and talk about gangs and like it's a good thing? It's, it's, it's not a great thing. You know, I'll skip the word good and say it's not a great thing. You know, but it's something that we can't deny an era of people, especially from California, you know, it was all around us. You know, it was ingrained in us. It's what we were involved in. Okay, whether you were involved in it hands-on and really got in the mix or you just seen it, but it's, it was around you. We were raised around it. Right? We were raised around some old school motherfucking homeboys. You know, homeboys with the big old whip. Boom, 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 boom. Hair slicked back. Every time they got out of prison, you'd be like, damn, look, that's a righteous one right there. Didn't know if he was in there getting fucking up. <laughs> but at the same time, man, you automatically assumed, okay, that's a veteran right there. That's a real one. Okay? And them old school homeboys would sit down. Hey, homie, let me get you, eh? What's happening? No, the fuck that was happening. I'm gonna tell you what's happening right now. Sit down, eh? You know what I mean? You got any of that shit? Okay, all right, all right. We'll, we'll talk about that in a minute, but look at all. Uh, you know, I already got the pinta. Uh, I could tell, I could see your paperwork starting out. Says, you don't worry about that. That's, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? And, and don't get close to it because it, 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 it stinks, right? Um, but uh, it's your part. I have two things I wanted to ask you. One, you know, what's going on right here in the barrio? You know what I mean? I'm seeing a lot of spray painted things of that nature. Uh, back in my day, we didn't disrespect each other like that, homes. We just let it be known. Okay, two, what's up with your canal? You know what I mean? Can I do it like fucking Santana did in American Mystery to the brown line? Look, this is a, but it was game. We got game given to us from people. We were really out there in the streets utilizing that. Okay, somewhere along the line, that game stopped being given. Okay, somewhere along the line, these guys turned to social media, and it's just what it is nowadays. People have went that route. It's the new way to go. People are more advanced, I guess, right? When it comes to game banging, tops off, man. You can't become advanced in this shit. It's either you're with it or you're against it. You're either with the business or you're not. Or you get done by the business. Period. You know? Hey, guess what? I'm going to, hey, I'm going to get what I'm going to do today. I'm going to go out and kill someone. You're going to like and subscribe when I do it? No. Guard. What's going to happen? <laughs> you're gonna lock, they're going to lock your ass up. That's all that's going to happen. You're going to be 15 minutes of fame today. Gangster high power. And tomorrow, 15 minutes not. Let me explain something to you guys. Hey, the end of Manuel a motherfucking di uh, different type of fashion. Let me give it to you guys uh, directly. Knowledge you will not get in college. I, pro I, pro I professor ain't gonna give it to you like I'm gonna give it to you. You definitely, definitely only get that 15 minutes to shine nowadays, man. It's all about how many people can see you. I'm gonna go viral. And guess what? If I went viral, what you got the venereal? No, I went viral. Mijo, go get a shot. No, no, you don't understand to what degree I'm talking about. Hey, ding dong, the witch. I'm like about the gunner. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna get a whole bunch of views. Nah. What'd you have to do to get it though? Do you have to sell out, sell your soul, act out of character, not be yourself? You know, you're supposed to be portraying this image for your body when you're a gangster homes. You're not a real gangster. You're a new era media gangster, a uh, uh, social media gangster. Totally different. Fake. Fugazi. Wannabe. Catch me outside. How about that? You know, you're one of those. Now, of course, you hit a niche. You do go viral. You make money. So, okay, I understand that. But what does that money buy? You can't buy you happiness. Well, to what, maybe the wind's blowing. One never knows does one. It, it could buy me happiness. But what I'm saying is it can't buy you love, happiness. There's things in this world, you know, emotionally that it can't get you. You have to go out there and get it for yourself and build bridges and bonds. Um, I'm straying away from the topic of gangs. But one thing I will say is this. Um, Baltas ain't doing that nowadays. They're too busy staying in the house, chasing the elusive like, chasing the elusive. They want everyone to know who they are. And then when the wrong ones know who they are, I, don't want them, but I was a supporting gunner, right? Uh, stop it. Let that shit go. You know, anyway, so trip out. Um, what, what we need to do as a hint as a whole, definitely is stop blaming ourselves, especially us from the 90s era, for what dudes that are scared to come out the house and all they want to do is play on the computer do. You know, I have a lot of homeboys like, bro, if it wasn't, if, if we were just fucking righteous, bro, and just gave the game, it wouldn't be like that. Nah, bro, I tried. I'm like, fuck, I tried. Says, you know what the youngster told me? Now, fuck that, eh? You see the new Lil Wayne video? <laughs> I'm an alien. I was like, nah, nah, I don't even know who that was. You know what I mean? He's a song, he's a blood, he's hardcore. He started it. Oh, is that right? When he started it? In 2006? You know what I mean? Nah, nah, come on. Stop it already. Stop it. There's nothing nowadays that looks anything like it did back in our days. 
You know, doesn't mean we were harder. Doesn't mean we were more educated. Doesn't mean we're, we were gangbanging, man. So obviously we were getting caught up going to prison, gangbanging. It was the era of <laughs> twisted, the tended to. So it was, you know, we weren't the smartest, you know, fish in the scene. Tenske, you know, uh, tuna fish. But at the same time, we also were laced differently because we sat our asses down and respected the people around us. Now, don't, you used to see the tracks and shit and be like, damn, I don't even know to what degree if I want to go that route because you're the homeboy. He's over here looking 99 and shit. The homeboy be like, let me tell you something, eh? In our days, we didn't get down. Damn, damn, I'm down like that. You know what I mean? And, and I'd be and I'd be like, okay, pick it up, pick it up. And I'd be like, yeah, what, what's up? What are we talking about? I didn't get up my mouth in your head, huh? What? Shit, I mean, I wasn't thinking about one. What? Spell what? Right? Now, it was just different. But the respect was there. Both ways. Because if a Vato don't respect you enough to give you the game, homes, he's not going to. There's been plenty of poop butts I see. They're like, hey, homie. You know what I mean? Let me know what's up. Yeah, your fucking shoes aren't tight, McFly. Boom, and I'm bouncing. That's what's up. You know, what's up is, you know what I mean? I'm going to go by your pad to pick up a bologna sandwich here in a minute. Tell your canal I said, what's cracking? That's what's up. Tell her I said, chill out. That's what's cracking. All this gang shit that you're trying to do, we'll have to stick to tetherball, homie. It ain't working for you. It ain't going to work out. Look at your back. Let's get, how are you going to run? Follow the drip, follow the drip, follow the drip. You just can't do it. Tiger, social media gangs in this era, things have changed. Now, don't get it twisted. There's some real ones still doing it old school style. Still really out there doing it. These youngsters with these Edgar haircuts and these whoppers, these choppers, man, I ain't going to take none from them. That chop your home, they'll huff and puff and blow your shit down, right? But these ones that are sticking, that, that are making, want to be in make-believe games. Uh, today I'm going to be, uh, let me see, the wind's blowing, like Gunner says. And I think I'm going to be a Latin king today. You know what I mean? They don't know shit about the historia. They don't know. They've never put in no effort. They don't know the realness um, behind it, their cause, their belief systems. They don't know none of that. They just seen it on a Discovery Channel one day, right? After a lion ate a zebra. And they're like, I want to be that. You know what I mean? I want to be that, so when I grow up, I'm going to be that, yep, and yep, and then all of a sudden they start wearing gold and black, and all of a sudden I'm all that a, mm-mm, you know, I'm just using you guys as an example, uh, Latin Kings, respects, because I respect it, um, I've been affected, now, um, one thing I can say about the social media gangs, we need to stay aware, gente, because they're, these are the most dangerous type of people, because that's they'll go in and they'll steal everything out of your bank account, they'll go viral, right, they're hacking and shit, they're not doing it traditionally. They're not going to go out there with an AK, man, and let you have it. They're not going to go out there, man, and uh, pull up on your water and, like, let me catch that fade. They're not going to do not, 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 not damn near a lot of, a little bit of that, right? What they're going to do is hack your Facebook. So I was going to put a picture of a penis like that waving in front of you. <laughs> I got them. And he's asking, fuck these other raptors. And you see that pipa the way it was flowing? It was like gunners. It was just an 11. It was just, it, 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 and it slides, and it slides, and it slides. Welcome to my island. Look, nah, that ain't the get down. See, we never did that. Hey, guess what, bro? I got a plan. What's the plan? Chapa, chapa, you see, I do your fucking, you're always going to figure out that shit, huh? Here's my plan, eh? The wind's blowing. Look, we're all going to get together, and we're going to hack everybody's Facebook. We're going to fucking put a swinging beep file right there by where their face is so that, that it grazes their nose. So it moves them like this, right there in their thumbnail, eh? But what if they have a thumbnail of their old lady? That's even better. You know what I mean? That's even better. We'll put, hey. We'll, we'll blow her up and make her look fat. We'll use a filter. I say, here, I'm handing out filters to everyone. This is your assignment. I say, yeah, you got the old man filter. You got the baby filter. You got the fucking fat filter. You know what I mean? This is how they game make nowadays. Whereas us, back in the days, it was, the homeboy would be like, hey, chip out. Hey, you. Mm -hmm. Who's this guy? My antennas went up as soon as he walked in. Like, yeah, he might be wearing a, he could be wearing a wire. He could be a black. You stand outside, homes. Poste. Um. Here, you take one of these, one of these, one of these. Again, make sure your clips are full. You know what time it is, right? Okay. You know what I mean? Don't say too much. But what do we say about you? Don't say a fucking thing about me. You know what I mean? This guy was never here. What did they call me Batman? You know what I mean? You're Robin. So go out there and handle your business. That's how it was back in our days. Okay? Not saying it's better than what they're doing now, but that's how we gangbang. So when you got these guys out here, homes with these spaniels on their face and red spaniels and blue and green and whatever color they may be trying to portray that gangbanging image, it's not the same anymore, man. It's different. Like I said, there are some real ones still doing old school style. They to be respected, man, and they, they to be feared, man. If a motherfucker, they get in your area and none scare you. But one thing I will say is uh, <clears throat> I'm not easily intimidated by uh, someone that's going to hack my motherfucking channel. I'm going to, hey, guess what, Gutter, what I'm going to do? Oh, you want to gangbang on me? 
You want a game bang? No, nah, not really, eh? I just want to eat a can of mineral. No, nah, no, nah, fuck that, eh? Gar! Watch out, we're going to get down. You know what I mean? That's, I got something for you, humps. Talk about you get all these tortas and everything. I'm going to upload a picture and show what your pipa really looks like. That You know what I mean? Is that right? Yeah. I, I'm on it. Shit, homes. You're in for a rude awakening. And I said, like, Rick Rude. You already know what it is. Anyways, with that being said, hey, I'm just saying, man, stay aware. Stay abreast of what's happening, man. Uh, the social media gangs and what they're entailing and all this new stuff. Um, it's different, man. You stop going out there, youngsters, and trying to go viral and doing it for likes and views. Guess what, homes? You're going to be like young Kelpie. He got slapped up, spit on, beat up, 15 minutes of fame. Next thing you know, you try to be a South Sider. It didn't work out for him. And now where's he at? He's over there fucking selling his nagas in Orange County. It's ugly. You know what I mean? The game just done got ugly. Um, you only get a little bit of time to shine, man. Um, it's what you do with it is what defines you as a man. You already know what it is. With that being said, I hope that you move smooth with a purpose. Get every single thing that you want coming to you. Remember, at the end of the day, it's all about struggling and striving for your familia. It's all we got. It's all I got. Shit, I ain't got nothing now. Again, fuck. At this point, <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm just, the struggle is real. You know, if you like it, hit that thumbs up with a like and subscribe if you fuck with me. If not, thumbs down. Hey, he's going to be the head that wears the gun's crown. I'm going to continue to struggle and strive for what I truly and honestly believe in. And that's the coming together of all people, man. We need to use this instead of using this. The gun. Bang, bang. In that fashion.